are out of water again. We have three King Charles and boy they drink a lot of water. This thing gets empty every other day. This has got to be, I don't know, over a gallon, a couple gallons. What can we do to make it simpler, easier? Because if you forget, they get thirsty. I got an idea. Here's a little project I thought of so I don't have to constantly refill the dog bowl with water. Uh, I figured I was gonna go all out and get the Yeti dog bowl. Nice uh, two quart bowl. What I wanna do, when I have a fitting in the side, I'm gonna put it right in the side. One is for fill, fill the water from pressure. One will be a drain, an overflow drain. Uh, and then a sensor which uh, senses the water with an Arduino uh, input. That's the plan. Should be pretty fun, huh? A little extreme, but put the holes in this $50 dog bowl is gonna be uh, a little unnerving, but that's, that's what I got. Here we go. Here we go. You committed. Stainless is not fun to work with. Beautiful. It takes high pressure and low RPM. Perfect. This is gonna be the higher one is the drain and the lower one for pressure. And I gotta do one in the middle for the sensor. Boy, Yeti makes nice stuff. I call it a boomer dog bowl. I'm not sure why. Let's see how close I can get it. Turn on the Arduino. A quick code for the uh, sensor, not, the, not, not perfect yet. When that light comes on, same thing as the uh, valve being open and it's filling up with water. Let's illustrate that and see where that light goes off. There it's off. There it is. Sweet. Oh yeah, it's pouring out now. Nice. And SketchUp 2017. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna that should work pretty good. We'll save that and export it as an STL file. Import it in. Ultramaker Cura. All right, bring it down to the 3D printer, which I keep in the basement. And snaps right in there, nice, see? There. Boom, looking good. It's working.
I need to plug this. These little guys. Okay. There you go. Ready for water? Yep. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Slowed it down just right now. It doesn't splash. I've got a button under the bottom here that I can press and override it and just fill it up manually. Needless to say, I think that's a success. That's a pretty fun project and it worked and I'll hope the dogs like it.